So I got a very interesting comment from Andrew Litchfield um, and he made a really good suggestion. So I'm just going to show you. You might think this is a bit weird looking at this cabinet, but as soon as I have so many uh, cuts and I'll, I'll show you the other hand. <laughs> yeah, that was today. My drill decided to pinch my skin and try and wrap it around the chuck. Anyway, so what he's suggesting, and it's a great idea, I'm going to try and find some. He did send me a website by email, but it's this uh, system where you push it in and it and it comes out. So you can see there that it's magnetic. So I could put the poles that come out of the side or the tubulars that come out the holder side. I could put something like this on the back with a magnet on it. It would be metal anyway, so it would attach to the magnet. Um, and then when you push it in, it locks. And then I could put my finger on it and push the tube at the end, which would push this and throw it out. So enough so I could pull it back out again. So I think it's a great idea. And I'm going to see if I can find uh, uh, four of those to do that. Okay, so just to clarify what I'm talking about with this um, push button magnet uh, situation would be, I could pull this in, uh, whatever, the, whatever the length is, and when I put the stop on, I could put the catch here, the magnet and the catch, and then when I go to, obviously what I do is I'll put a, a cap on this, so it's flat. So what I do is, is I put it in there like this, but it'd have the flat end on it, the the sheet metal would be completely perfectly for that hole then all I'd have to do is push it in and it would flick back out so I could grab it uh, so sorry so I could flick it in and it would pop out basically I would push it in and it would pop out like that uh, and then I just pull it out which I think will work well <coughs> and it will um, stop it from coming out as well hopefully the magnet will be strong enough and with the weight here of the rod um, I don't I don't think it'll be any problem at all what I will do now is I will make a square box section to put a square plate and put it up against here and the reason I'll do that is that will keep it square against here all the time so it'll, it'll make it move straighter and easier as I pull it in and out and like I say we're perfect because there's 120 across here from side to side and these are 60 so we're basically right on the money I think I can uh, I'll just have enough room to put these uh, things in and still have enough room to to uh, catch the I think that's where we are now if I look where's that line it's gone there it is but that's it there so I've still got plenty I can take off there and that'll be the same both sides okay so I've been working on these ones today and they fought me all the way you know, the, the reason it's fought me <coughs> is because I had welded all these in the corners and uh, obviously the weld was protruding a little bit so I had to grind them out there and this one was a real tool to, to get to this one here in the corner you can just see it. Anyway, I had to clean them out. So, yeah, and then this one should go through. As you can see, it's just about in line. And that one over there. I have to make the back plate for it now. So I've had to make the hole a little bit bigger. Uh, otherwise, there's too much friction on the on the rod. You can see it will sit in line like that. So. Okay, so this is the original stainless steel back that was on it when it was on the, the Volkswagen T3. Obviously it's been cut down because it was massive on the T3. So this is the original stainless steel, so I'm going to use that, uh, which is good. Um, you can see there now uh, the height of this. So what I'll do is this will be the working deck, this stainless steel here, if we use it in the garden or whatever, and I'll make a nice wood deck with some aluminium stripping in between it like a show deck if you like or a nice looking deck which fits in there so I'll put it on angle or, or whatever but I'll bring it up to exactly that level there so that when the sides are down both sides so it's completely flush right the way across to the other side um, and uh, looking at it now that's the piece that's going on the outside obviously the piece that's going in here will be 
just flat. There's no need to have anything on it. So what I'll do is I'll take it to the outside and I'll show you something else that I've found as well. So I'm really glad I didn't make the insides of these because I didn't think about this, uh, this slope where I'm making these picture corners. So obviously this needs to be shortened by, uh, well it'll be two centimeters because it's 45 degrees. And obviously the inside one will come onto here and here and same at the other end. So the ones going on the inside will be shorter than the ones on the outside. Um, one of the other things I've realised as well, if I can show you, hopefully it will show up. I don't know. Um, but if I lift it up, you can see where that beading is and the one on the other end. Now, because of the hinge system, that one is, touch, is not on it. Okay, there's no, you can see there if I lift it up. So the only one I have to do is this here, this beading on this end and make that little half moon in there. So that's, uh, that's exactly how I'll do it. So I'll just make it for this end on the end of there and that, that should sit in there nice because obviously the, the depth of the hinge is not, not taken into account there. I've got to redo these hinges as well because what I'm finding is, is I, as I lift it up and down it's sliding backwards a little bit. Um, now they might need a pin in them but there's a couple of them need adjusting up a little bit so I'll have to take, drill them out and push them in a bit, a bit, uh, a bit closer. But there we are. So. Yeah, it'll just be the end bits that I need to do because I, I, I would like to work it out so that these fit perfectly on the end as well. So, we're certainly getting there. Um, so the next thing I'll go on to is I'll put the 45 in here, um, which I've got. If I can find it. There we go. It's one of them down here. I've already pre-cut pre them. Oh, so I'll put this one in. So that one has to go in there onto the metal. So I'll put that angle in there. And then I'll start making this sideboard and the back one. And then I can start plasma cutting the steel on the inside. And this one's got to be plasma cut. This is, this one here is before I got the new nozzle. And you can see that the, the end is terrible, but fortunately there's a, an overlap on it. So I can get that nice and crisp next time, but it has to be very cut. See, there's quite a bit of overhang on that one. It should be just about right on the money. And I cut out those pieces there for it to go in and the corner over there. And I'll have to do the same with this one. But yeah, it's coming on. So, Friday night, uh, I've run out of paraffin for my heater. Uh, Heights oil, as it's known as in German. So I shall get some of that tomorrow morning and I'll call it a night. Started on the second sideboard, the same as that one over there, the 34 centimetres from here, from end to end here, or from side to side. And you can see that I've actually uh, got an overlap there, and that's there on purpose, that's to take up for the hinge. And the same here, not welded in properly yet, but it's, uh, it's on. And the reason that is, if I lift this up, here. When I put this in you can see that this is lower than that one but obviously with a hinge in it it's going to come up there so it's actually in line with it. I've got the other two sides made. I haven't put the uprights in but it's all square. I checked it for squareness. Uh, obviously this tailboard will drop right down and uh, these two will just come sideways. So I'll have to make these, these four pieces up for there and two for the back on this one. And, uh, and then I can cut that uh, stainless, but I'll have to wait until Mia comes back. It's a bit heavy to lift that, that stainless, They're extremely sharp as well. So I'll wait till he comes back with that, um, but I can get the other stuff made up. And uh, yeah, I've just put those, uh, I've just put those bits of padding in between and clamped it very lightly because I obviously want a gap in it because I want to put rubber on them and the same on both ends there so it's a nice soft close or a, it's not a bang when you close it if you know what I mean. 